He's got to be special. He has white hair, you guys. So I know this fandom is a little bit different from the ones that I've done videos on before, but the reason for that is that there are a lot of different kinds of fandoms out there and we're gonna have to branch out from video games eventually. The other reason is because I was on Twitter earlier and I was looking at trending and it said hashtag JJK220 trending. And I was like, what is Jen Jen Cook doing trending? I thought they stopped the BTS. Didn't they like put them, they like put them in the army or something like that. It's been a while since I was into K-pop, but no, apparently JJK did not mean Jun Jungkook. It meant Jujutsu Kaisen, which is an anime and a manga. It was a manga first. Everything's a manga first and then it's an anime, but nobody cares about it in the US until it becomes an anime. Contrary to what one might expect, based on the entirety of everything I've ever been into and also the fact that I make fandom videos on YouTube and stream on Twitch, I am not actually a weeb. <laughs> I've, I've dabbled, right? Like I'm not gonna shutter off an entire country's production of media just because I'm not like immersed in it in the way that people that are like really into anime and manga are. I've, you know, I've, um, I watched Oran High School Host Club. I watched Hunter x Hunter. I watched Kakagurui and probably some other stuff too. So like I've dabbled, you know, and I feel like I've absorbed a lot of knowledge of anime, anime fandom, anime subcultures and stuff like that that just through generalized internet usage. Like it was very obvious to me when suddenly anime went mainstream in the United States a couple years ago. So yes, we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen. We're going kind of back to the actual like fandom first impression reaction type of content. I don't know anything about this and we're gonna find out together. Starting off, let's talk about what it is about. I have the wiki page pulled up right here. Demons, there are demons in it. Demons are bad. There's like one extra special bad demon and he got defeated. I think he got defeated. I don't know. The point is that he's, he took a major L at some point and now he's just scattered across the world. But if demons eat the bits of him that are left, then they're going to get really powerful and that'll be bad. But luckily there's a school full of wizards that do jujutsu, which is, I don't think it's the same as jujitsu because that's different. That's like a martial art, but I do like it's one letter off, so I keep getting confused. But the wizards are gonna protect everybody. And the main wizard is named Yuji Itadori, and he's a high school student. Like every anime protagonist of animes that get popular here are, they're just always high school students. But he's got a special power, which is that he was born extra strong, physically extra strong. I don't know if he's very good at magic or not. Uh, it doesn't say <laughs> in this wiki. Oh, and oh wait, let me, let me keep reading. Wait, all the sports clubs want him to join, but he prefers to hang out with the school's outcasts at the occult club. Oh wait, he's not, he's not in the wizard school. Never mind. He's not, I think he's at a regular high school and then he ends up talking to the wizards later. The, the point is not the plot. The point is the fandom. Um, also the wiki I was using for this, to be fair, to read this plot, the wiki I was using is the shipping wiki because I have it up because we're going to need it later. Perhaps it's not the most, you know, intellectually sound uh, summary of the series, but I think, I think we got the gist. I think we got the gist. <laughs> so now that we know how the story goes, let's check the Twitter fan. It looks like there is a lot of fan art. Oh, shocker, shocker, there's fan art in a fandom. Oh my God, we know, Lumen, get to the point. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. There's fan art and then there's people posting, I don't know, spoilers of this chapter that dropped the other day. That's the reason why I saw it on my trending. And then immediate discourse, immediate discourse, immediate discourse. Ah, uh, we love to, we have fun around here. We have a lot of fun around here. Anyway, looks like, it looks like, ooh, it looks like apparently, according to this person, people are very fickle in this fandom and they will just drop the fandom, the second that a chapter does something they don't like and people dropped it because of recent chapters. I don't know what happened in them, but it doesn't sound good. And now they're like, don't come back when X, Y, and Z happens in the story that you want to happen. Don't come crying to me. I'm just gonna be here or whatever, which is very funny to me. I don't know. You're not obligated to keep liking things if you don't like them anymore. It sucks if people are being jerks about it, but like, oh, everyone's mad about the creator of the show. Hmm? Some people just watch it for Gojo. Who's Gojo? We'll find out who Gojo is later. Actually, I could just Google it. Wait. <laughs> JJK Gojo. Let me look at the images. Ah, he has white hair. He has white hair. 
Definitely the fan favorite. He's gotta be special. He has white hair, you guys. I know the anime tropes. I know what white hair means. It's that you're special. You're a special little guy. I have even had a special little guy with white hair. Wait, let me check and make sure he does have white hair. Yes, Kilua has white hair. Kilua has white hair and I liked him a lot. So that's like actually the only other white hair anime boy I actually like know uh, the name of. No, wait, there's another one. It's not from a show I watched, but it's the one that like, you know, the, the Minecraft YouTube YouTuber Etho has a skin that's a white haired anime boy and uh it's of um, Kakashi. Kakashi is from Naruto. Yeah, you can really tell. I don't like anime. I just like redstone. Wait, does Bakugo have white hair? Bakugo. No, he's blonde. Never mind. That's the other like anime guy I know the name of because they're like hella popular. Okay, never mind. Not a white haired anime boy. We only know three. <laughs> white haired anime boys on this channel. Kilua, who's the other one I know, like, no, no, you know, we met, you know, we go way back. Kilua, Kakashi, and Go Gojo. Yes, yes, Gojo. I'm glad you guys have a white haired anime boy that you like though. I feel like anime fans, like I feel like they need at least one, you know, like for their psychological health. I scrolled down for two seconds and I saw someone dramatically posting about how they were officially no longer a fan of the series. Is that thing that people do in most fandoms now. I think it's kind of silly to dramatically post when you're leaving a fandom, by the way, like who cares, but whatever. But is that a thing that's becoming common among fandoms now? Like people writing like long goodbye threads and stuff. Okay, well, I'm bored of Twitter now. So we're gonna go on Tumblr. Fan art, fan art, fan art. X reader, who? Nanami, 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 images. Oh, maybe he has a nice personality. Why does he wear the goggles? Is it like, is it, am I gonna feel bad? I'm sure he's very sexy. I'm sorry. I won't make fun of you any more than I already have. Are they goggles or glasses? There's no, they don't have, they don't have the like things. How do they stay up? Are his powers magnetic eyeballs? Anyway, Tumblr. Gojo, Gojo with a child. Where's the main character? Who are you people? You know, also all the articles I read about it said that this series had gotten praised for like the inclusion of women in interesting ways. And I'm not gonna lie, the fandom is not getting praised from me for the inclusion of women in interesting ways in that I, there's like no women that I'm seeing in the art. Lots of sexy men with shirtless, but no, not much of women here happening, which I know, I know what fandom's like, I know, but still, I'm taking points off, okay? Some really beautiful fan art though. Really nice job, guys. Good work, good job, guys. Good job. It's very, very quickly becoming clear one of the occupational hazards of having a fandom with the same acronym as a member of BTS, because I looked up JJK on Tumblr and now I'm just getting Yandere Jungkook X Reader. All right. Wait, he's gonna have to kidnap me some other time. I'm busy, okay? Can't you see I'm doing research? Give me a second. All right, you know what time it is. It's ship time. Can you see that? I'm trying to do a heart. It's a new cute thing I'm doing. Ship time. The point is, let's talk about ships. I'm already on the shipping wiki from earlier because we're streamlining our wiki process. There's some ships in it. They, I love the ship wiki because it just lists out so many. It lists out literally every possible combination of characters, but we're gonna talk about the top ones. Per AO3, it looks like the most popular one. The AO3 is split between the manga and the anime. It looks like the most popular one for both of them is our old friend Gojo and um, someone named Suguru. That looks like the most popular one. And then the second most popular is Itadori, who is the main character and someone named Fushiguro. And then that's actually, it's different for the anime versus the manga for the third one, because for the manga, it looks like the next one is Sukuna and uh, Fushiguro. And Sukuna is the demon, the, the demon with the bits, you know, the demon with the bits that need to be eaten to take power over the world or whatever, the demon bits and whoever the other person is. And then the fourth one for the manga and the third one for the anime is the same and that is our good friend Gojo, our special white hair anime boy, X reader. Let's jump into the top ships. Let's just look at them really quickly. Uh, the top one is Gojo, our white haired anime boy and some other boy who has a man bun. We love a man bun. They went 
to wizard school together. They were in wizard high school together and they are in conflict because our good friend Gojo has like no more <laughs> apparently and Suguru believed that the strong should protect the weak. <laughs> Amoral white hair anime boy. There's some lovely little quotes here, a list of moments. There's songs. They have theme songs. They were in the top 100 Tumblr ships in 2021. Congrats, guys. Okay. Part of why people like them are because of their contrasting aesthetics. That's so real. <laughs> like, I feel like you're not supposed to say that. Do you want to hear my theory for part of the reason of why people choose the guys to ship together that they choose. I swear to God, the reason why you see so many ships where like one of them is blonde and the other one has brown hair, or like in this case, one of them has white hair and one of them has black hair. I swear to God, it's because fan artists know that they're not very good at drawing different facial features, which like I love fan artists, but some of you are not very good at that. And so they just pick ones that have different colors of hair. So it's easier to tell who is who in the art. And so that's why you never see ships between two guys guys who both have brown hair. Ooh, I love the comments on the shipping wiki as well. These two changed the trajectory of my life for the worse and gave me depression. That's how much I love them. Sorry, Ida Fushi. Ida Fushi. Oh wait, there's another one called Go Fushi. Go Fish. One of them's the main character. They're besties. They meet at school. Cursed womb art? Who has a cursed womb? Presumably not one of them, but... Oh, it's the second most written ship in the fandom overall, but the most written ship in English? I didn't double check that, but... So don't count me on that, but that's cool. Okay. <laughs> There's really not much else to say here. Suka Fushi. This is the best friend of the main character. And then the demon. Oh, because Sukuna... Uh, spoiler, I guess. Sukuna possesses the main character. Rip. Why did he swallow his finger? Don't do that. Don't eat the demon. Duh. This sounds like it might be controversial because the one of them is a high schooler, right? Oh, oh. The ship is very controversial. Okay, I could have just kept reading. All right. Large age gap. <laughs> Megumi is 16 and Sakuna is a thousand years old. It's a bit of an age gap there, yeah. Um, this is giving me very like, it's giving me very like Twilight vibes. You know how it's like, well, Twilight came out and everyone was like, oh my God, Edward Cullen, who's a vampire and then Bella Swan and it's fine. And then you, a couple years later, people were like, wasn't the age gap kind of problematic because he like lived for like a hundred years or whatever. And she was like 16, but it's like, that was like the whole point. <laughs> what I'm saying is I doubt the people that ship this kind of thing actually care. Like they know, I mean, it's like messed up obviously, but it's also like not real. They they don't make thousand year old demons in real life. Well, some people believe in demons, actually. Some people believe in demons. I just don't. If you believe in demons, this shit probably would upset you more. I almost feel like it's less weird than like shipping like a 16 year old and a 26 year old or something, you know? Cause it's just like obviously not real versus like a, that does happen and it's like messed up. Let's look at some of the main tags, actually, the people tag. AU, no curses. Interesting. I don't know what the curses are, but. <laughs> <laughs> AU, no curses. Jujutsu f Kaisen. Okay, very, very exciting. We are not going to be having the This Is Not A Drama Show show segment because I kind of already talked about the recent drama before and it looks like there's not like, I know, it looks like a lot of the other drama is very like internal to the fandom. Lots of little like internal discourse, probably shipping drama. I would say the biggest drama I can tell is that like people really hate the creator of the manga like a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't know what he did. I think he killed off some people. Sorry, the Reddit, the Reddit I'm on right now for it. I just looked over and they have, no, they have a monthly vent thread about how much they hate the creator of the manga. I don't know what this man did to you people, but I'm sorry. I was gonna say, oh, there's not that much drama, but like everybody hates him. I don't know who he killed off. Did he kill off your special little guy? Is that why everybody hates him? I'm sorry. He seems like he really was a very special little guy. Overall, it's fine. Honestly, like honestly, 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 I will say hatred for the creator aside, I have seen so much worse in general. I've seen so much worse from anime fandoms. I've seen so much worse. Like I saw probably worse this morning. I would say I love fandoms. I've been in fandoms my whole life. I don't think there are any good fandoms, but this one is not as bad. So I think I'm going to give it a seven for white haired anime boys out of 10.